Omni Knight. I know they've been really loving that. So uh, we'll see. But E-Home, they've shown a, a little wow. bit of variety in their drafts. So E-Home have first pick again. Mm -hmm. So they went for the Snapfire last time, right? Which obviously they like and Vici like, which is going to be another big point of contention in this draft. So it'll be interesting to see whether they return for it again. I'm pretty sure the bands are exactly wow. the same. What? That's the, the they, same thing. Wow. Okay, so v, well, Vici are the ones okay, who take okay, Faceless okay. Void this time, which is uh, very interesting. Something I want to note, too. I think, what, the Tiny was completely ignored that game. Mm -hmm. And I think that was, like, only a handful of times that the, the Tiny has been completely ignored, I want to say. So the question now is, are you going to give Vici Mag Void, or are you going to take the Mag yourself? Because I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure Vici will take it if you give it to them especially with this void. So now I think almost forced to take it on eHome. This hero still yet to be ignored, uh, banned and or picked in every single game of the event so far. And they go Wraith King. Wow. wow. That oh is, gosh. and they go Omni. So Magnus has to be banned here by one of these teams. That's really cool. So instead, yeah, they just they completely ignore the Mac, and they're like, okay, we'll go for the Wraith King Ooh. against the Void, because we yeah. have that second life against the Chrono, which is really good. And that's something you talk about every time we see the potential Void. Um, we'll see, like, that Wraith King ban in the second phase, because you talk about if you use the Chrono on the Wraith King and he's got Reincarnation, you're basically eating up the Chrono. You're fine. You're happy with that. So that's a that's a big pick here from Ehome. I'm very interested to see what follows that up. As it's Beastmaster with Shrek. And again, I think it's it's going to be on Ehome to ban the Magnus, I would say, as Vici have the first pick coming out of this uh, ban phase. I don't know if they want to take Magnus when there's a Wraith King in the game, though. I think they'd want to take something that uh, pressures them at all points in the game rather than on a cooldown. Because you mm -hmm. have that big teamfight spell, but then... It's almost the same thing as the RP against the reincarnation. Like you, you mm. want to be able to blow that spell and kill somebody straight away. If you're having to use the RP and the Chrono to kill one target, that's never good. Yeah, you're committing maybe too much. I, I would wonder if they want to go like PYW back on the Skyrath with that Chrono available to them on the Faceless Void. Uh, they need stuns at the moment. It's the other thing. You don't want to be reliant on that Chrono. Yeah, I think what else have we seen PYW play? I mean, Tiny's still in the pool. Like Rubik is still in the pool as well, which could be really good here for either team. I'd be very surprised if Vici don't ban it because it's one of those things against Omni that always feels really good. Mm -hmm. Unless they want to take it themselves. And they ban the Bat Rider, and now let's see what Vici ban. They go Sardar. So is this going to be the first game that Magnus gets ignored? Potentially, yeah. I think it might be. But I mean, either team could still go for it, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. But I think playing Mag against Omni is really hard. Like, as we say, it's it's all physical damage. Playing Mag against Wraith King is really hard. Because it... you could go Magnus mid and then throw the Wraith King off lane and do the Aster move. He could, but I don't, I don't. I think that was very game specific rather than like a general strat. Hmm. Also, Aster got eliminated, so you can't copy what they do. That's not true. Oh, no, no, they, no, no, sorry, not true. They're in, the, they're in the winner bracket. In Who, was, it, was it Asta that did it before? Yeah, XXS was on it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now for some reason, I have it in my head that XXS still plays for IG. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> what year is it? Mars gets picked up by Vici, so that'll give him the arena as well as the spear. Um, again, the kind of screams oh, Skywrath cool. coming out next for them. No, but not necessarily, I don't think. Ooh, Shadow Demon. And, f yeah, Phoenix making it this far. Wow, <laughs> I forgot about that hero. Th this, is, this is looking like the draft that Magnus gets ignored. There had to be one. So, obviously Shadow Demon is a really good save up against the Chrono, which we saw um, Ehom really prioritized last game with the Pugna and the... the um, the Tusk as well with the Snowboard, they have the double save. But mm. it's also really good because you can purge off the GA from the Omni Knight because at the moment they don't have a really a way of dealing with it, but the, the Shadow Demon is going to be the answer. Hmm. 
So they have Snapfire that can hit Egg. So it's not like a free Phoenix game. They is it worth going Lena as well? Or is that just too glass? I think it's, I think it's too single target heavy. Mm -hmm. They have no... I mean, it's okay. But... Yeah. Right now, that Snapfire could still be four or mid. But as I say that sentence, and that sentence leaves my lips, they go Queen of Pain. But at the same time, we've seen Queen of Pain offlane. Didn't work, but we've seen it. So my, my thing there was I think they needed to pick a strong laner that makes Void and Mars' game relatively hard. Mm -hmm. So, I was, you know, you think of all these dominant laners. I know not, not so much at the moment popular, but like Venno and like Necro at the time and things like that. So Queen of Pain, again, very good at that. Plays the map really quickly as well. Because at the moment, Vici, it feels like they have to be a unit, right? Mm -hmm. They have Void. They have strong pairs with the Mars Phoenix. They have like Void um, Omni as well, which is a strong pair. But they don't play the map relatively quickly. Like, they don't have a huge amount of mobility in their lineup. So, Queen of Pain. I feel very good about that. Ban the Viper. Okay. Yeah, this is old E-Home. Do you remember XM? Last Dota Pit, they were, like, first picking Queen of Pain on C-Deck all the time, and they were banning Puck Viper opening two. <laughs> so, XM is like, I don't want to play against these two heroes. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to ban it immediately. Make sure this doesn't happen to me. They need yeah, XM's player. really good on this uh, Queen of Pain too. He has impressed me a lot with that hero. They need an offlane with Team Fight here on e -home. Hang on, they don't have a huge amount of yeah. time. Sorry, that's all. Ooh. Wait, what? Offlane Wraith King is what it looks like. I think it's offlane Quar. What? No. Unless they're <laughs> no, it, it, it must be offlane Wraith King. Surely. Yeah. Unless they play like mid AM or something, depending on the matchup. It's not a, an amazing AM game. It's good, but it's not amazing. It's not that you're playing against Credit, you're playing against Arena. I, I think their thought process is that they like, each other want to group up all the time and like, take big team fights. But, um... Templar Assassin. Choose your hero. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. On the Offlane Wraith King, four position Shadow Demon for James. XM back on the Queen of Pain, not uh, game to game, but he's played this hero a couple of times, and S Triple C on the Anti Mage. I think we've seen him on this Anti Mage once or twice already. I'm not certain, so don't quote me on that, please. And uh, yeah, yes, yes. Let, me, let me take a look. S Triple C likes that hero. He yeah, I'd he's gone. See... Go on. I was gonna say, I can't wait to see this mid matchup there between Queen of Pain and TA. I think XM and Ori are both really strong laners, so love to see how this goes. He actually hasn't played at this event. He played it though a bunch during yeah. the Proto Cup. 
Not sure Actually, the last that. time he played it was against Vici, and he went Ooh. 22 and 8. Oh, good. Wow. And that was exactly a week ago. Did he win, though? That's the question. Yes, they won that game. Was, was that the lower bracket final? Um, yes. They 2 0 Ooh. Elimination again. Back to back. Prepare it could be battle. at the hands of the SCCC AM back to back elimination. Ooh. That's tough. Well, that was game one. Game Recon, two, he played Let TV, me build though. up the hype. Okay? <laughs> well, don't pull play it, it down. You've got to play it up. Sorry, I'm pulling down the scaffolding. I apologize. I didn't mean it. By the way, Magnus getting ignored for the first time. 100% no more. But uh, Faceless Void, I think, maintains a pretty high percentage overall. It's been picked up now in 15 games and banned in 24. And then the Ooh. Phoenix continues to rise up as well. So what does it do? Is this a game that we see TA go off again? Seconds to battle. Uh, potentially, yeah. No because sorceries I think Ehome's lineup is pretty greedy. Mm -hmm. So, if this TA can get a decent timing on like Blink Deso, like we said, I'm gonna think Ehome, I think Ehome are gonna want to split the map up a lot for like the first 20 minutes, and not really commit to a huge amount, which could come back to bite them. But... The battle begins. Any lane swapping going on? It doesn't look like it. Things are just pretty standard. Omni securing the bot rune and then running top. It's fine. I was just looking. I know, I the, know. The odds for this map showing up on your screen. 1.5 for Vici and 2.4 for Ehome, despite last map's performance. Yeah, I love that SCPC is cutting down these trees in the bot lane, though, when he's playing against the Mars. He doesn't want to offer any opportunity for the spear in the lane, like towards the left-hand side. It's like the first time we've seen someone do that. It's I don't or think it's noticed. I mean, I, I've seen it before, but n I don't think this tournament. Ori taking a lot of damage already. Level one scream for XM. Ori, he is uh, needing to be careful, and now he's got refraction, so things get a little bit easier. I, d I don't want to point it out because I feel really mean, but Estra proceed. There was about three creeps that died there at exactly the same time, and he didn't get any of them. I was like, oh, it, yes, that's so sad as a carry play when that happens. Oh, we already forced to pop that salve, and the courier came out. And we'll have to go back. I'll, we'll see if he buys a, yet another salve. Not sure that'll happen as he gets into the later levels of okay, refraction, well, but XM having a good time a thus far. And like we were talking about, Ori has been dominant in the mid lane, but so has XM. And now we're finally seeing them again against each other. It reminds me of um, XM versus Nothing to Say last tournament as well. We were having that, that rank one versus rank two debate. It was mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Where is Ori ranked these days? I really you wish the lobby would just lobby. show it. Yeah, it, that's one of the most annoying things. If you go in any private lobby, you can't check the ranks of the players in the lobby. So XM taking a lot of damage. There was another Shadow Strike over. Goes uh, first level in the Scream, the next two levels in the the uh, Shadow Strike. Nope. This bot lane is not going well for Ehome. SCCC has two CS in two minutes. Oof. By the way, XM's or uh, uh, Uri's ranked number 22. Okay. Not sure how much of a difference that makes, but. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know where it is towards the top, because don't they do a uh, random draft anyway? I, I don't know if they still do. I know they used to, for sure. That seems crazy Radiance to me. Courier has been killed. Max Nova losing his courier, so now he's without HP regen. Fire Snap Cookie a little bit short. X Nova, he's got the mango to turn and scatter blast on a PYW. But PYW has Icarus dive, so you'd scatter blast and just be wasting the mana at that point. Yeah, Ori plays all ranked random draft. Wow. 
I wish more people in EU did random draft. I think it's so much better way of getting good at the game. Like playing all pick and just having the ability to pick the same hero like at least half your games is ridiculous. Should like I do you it should, in my bracket? You should be forced out of your comfort zone a little bit in ranked sometimes. And you'll get better at the game for playing more heroes. Shadow Poison thrown the way of this stack. Trying to pull that creep wave. Oh, stacking the stun and the disruption on Erica. Time dilation comes out. James in some trouble. He needs to run, but oh, big crit on Erica. And now maybe he's not the one who needs to run. Oh, at the same time, this Centaur Conqueror may have had other plans. A lot of heroes <laughs> low on the map for E-Home. I like all it takes is one crit for that, that, that whole thing to be like, I think the other person's in trouble now. Look at this. There are three heroes for E-Home on like 7% health. I'm just gonna hit six first. It looks like X. <laughs> Four heroes. Jesus. Uh, who got the four minute rune, brother? Uh, or you got an illusion rune. Okay. There are blood seekers in other games running at 600 movement speed because of where e home is life wise. See, saving up for that ring of health. That'll help him sustain in the lane, or at least try to sustain in lane. Has he continued Did to chop these trees down? No, not really. What are you going to say? I was going to say, where did X Nova go? This triple C is just in the bot lane by himself. But yeah, like he gets, went back to base and TP'd mid to get vision down. Gets speared up too. Oh, he shot the sentry ward to help with trap vision against the TA when she hits six. Okay. So, XM just about to hit that level six. We'll see how mobile he wants to get. Meanwhile, S Triple C, uh, he, yeah, did buy that ring of health. It's just coming from that top secret shop. I thought for a little bit he might even just walk over to the secret shop on the dire side and blink back to lane. But top tower. With the way his lane is going at the moment, he can't afford to walk anywhere. If he has a chance to hit a CS at the moment, he has to take it. Yeah, he's sixteen and three. <laughs> he is struggling. He has about two and a half CS a minute, right? It's not where you want to be. DY comes over and there's a double damage bottom. XM obviously the uh, more prominent mid of the two with a blink dagger to get to that, or blink skill to get to that double damage. Prominent? Probably not the right word. Mr. C just had to TP back to base too. So he sits low, X Nova takes over the lane. He'll try to get some experience. James comes over and oh, I don't think he was trying to do that. That's unfortunate. So now these supports are together in the bottom lane while S Triple C runs back. That leaves Wraith King up top. He's got level six. He'll hold the skill point for now, just in case he needs to have that reincarnation. He's going for that armlet still like XXS did. Is he farming just as well? He's top of the net worth, so it's not all bad. James coming around the back. Looks over at DY for a second. We'll find the Mars. They can line this up with a fire snap cookie. They've got the damage. They have XM, the Sonic Wave. They get the kill. It's finally first blood as they take out old 11. DY forced to run back behind the tier one tower. So a good rotation from XM and something that we were kind of expecting once he hit that six. Four heroes in the bottom lane, and it's James who will take over in the mid lane. Just get some experience himself. So I can imagine like uh, S triple C, but it's basically been bullied in the spot lane the whole time, right? And then his bigger brother turns up, and then as the Mars dies, S triple C's like, ah, that's what you get, idiot. And now Mars is going to come back to the lane again and be like, S triple C, dude. How dare you? <laughs> Your brother's not here to protect you anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Because I think it's going to go back to exactly how it was before now. You're, you're bringing up some very relatable memories for myself. <laughs> this is kind of scary. 
I'm very ben, sorry. Ben, where, where is your brother Alex now? Oh, I don't know. Alex! Oh. Armor boy's still being built here for the Wraith King. He's got that gloves of his picked up. And Actually, they drop down the sorry. arena, but don't garner anything of that first ulti usage. James putting some pressure on Erica up towards top, winning like, that stack. That, that arena, though, in. is you know, like when a bully goes to punch you and then doesn't actually do it. Like, pretends. Doesn't know how to fight. No, no, they're like, they're like oh, it's just joking. Just a prank. Then, you, then you usually get two for flinching. X Nova hit with the Melt Strike, he'll <laughs> fire snap Kuki onto the high ground. Does have a TP. Scatter Blast Courier. And X Nova doesn't have the mana to TP out anymore. He does have a stick. But. Instead, has Ooh. committed to dying. Uh, I think mean, I thought he would have used that fire snap cookie and TP'd out immediately. Wasn't sure how close the Mars was, though. This tier one tower top, these skeletons hurt so much. They do 37 damage a pop. Mm -hmm. um, they, they need somebody to come up in here and clear these, because otherwise the tier one's going to fall. It's gone. Without even a catapult wave. Wow. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Chow's getting pretty close to the armlet. And XM showing up towards top. He might be able to help them get a couple of kills here. DUI only level four, taking a look at support levels. Shadow Demon about to hit that five. And uh, so is X Nova. Experience attack. difference is actually very favorable for BG. <laughs> that strip is just trying to find somewhere to farm. Oh, hey, soon. Gets denied by PYW. Chalice. TP's bottom. Gets out of that top lane now that he's taking the tower and will farm up this bottom lane. Old 11 comes over. Chalice still holding that skill point on, uh, on reincarnation. Fire snap cookie onto the creep. Now they've got some trouble here. Old 11 needs to run. He's got the phase boots, but drops down the arena instead. Spear hits onto Chalice. They'll look for the chrono. I believe they'll try to drop it down on potentially both, but X Nova now. It's a chrono for a sapphire. I don't know if Erica's happy with that. He doesn't have time walk up for eight seconds either. This could be a problem. And there's multiple ways to stop his TP out, but he TP bottom, so he doesn't even have the escape. Got the disruption, now the Sunray, Erica surviving, purification, Chalice running forward, and there's the reincarnation getting popped. They look over and focus their attention onto this Omni Knight, Sonic Wave comes through. Erica stunned up once again, James doesn't have disruption, and Erica, he retreats, four stacks of shadow, poison! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Close. Icarus they want to turn here though. Supernova, oh, okay, James on the run. Trying to avoid getting hit by this spear from old 11. Radiance courier has been oh, he'll just God <laughs> rebuke the uh, courier, and he might even just get James. Oh, the trap was there. They had the vision. The Icarus oh, died now TP. under the tier one tower. They've got the disruption. Chalice is coming in. XM, he's going to focus his attention on the PYW, who Icarus dove under the tower. Oh, Shadow my strike God, on him play. and the TP. He's able to escape. But now they focus their attention on old 11. Spear hits. And Snapfire's Mortimer's kisses don't do enough damage. Radiance bottom tower Does Spear not cancel kisses? Hello? Did you see that? Yeah. I, I thought it did. He, he shot out an extra two, even after the spear. Yeah. What the hell? Who did that? Who did that fight benefit? So long. I, I got. I just need to process that. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you. I, as much I time have as you absolutely need. no idea. Well, Radiance I've learned something this game. That's good. That's the way you should look at it. Under attack. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that fight definitely favors Eho, right? Like, XCCC this whole time is able to just completely farm up, avoid the whole game, effectively. And now, if you look at the net worth of the Mars compared Radiant's to the AM, it's the redemption arc. The bully never wins. Dyer's Grew up, worked out a little bit. Under <laughs> Got a uh, subscription to the gym. 
Erica. Shows in lane for a second, as does S Triple C up towards top. And Chalice going Shadow Blade. Okay, so arm with Shadow Blade. Battle Fury for the Anti Mage. Orchid for this Queen of Pain. And then Ori's got the Blink Dagger going Desolator next. Not the Ori, not so much the Ori show that we saw the other day. He was much more dominant in that last game we he, saw him on the TA. I mean, he's not playing badly. It's just he had a much better lane last time. I'm pretty sure it's the big, the main Dyer's thing, right? Top tower mm -hmm. is under attack. And they want to take this mid tier one, or at least get some damage onto it. I don't know if Ehem are going to be able to defend this. They probably should try though. They've got the scan that'll but, leave Astral up top. Are they okay with letting the tower go if they can get the battle fury on Astral <sighs> Yeah, they, they're going to use Kisses to try and keep the tower alive. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's Chalice top walked tower back to base. He had attack. almost died, but he's going to TP into the tier 1 tower, and that'll wow. send them packing. Really, uh, really well done there to defend the tower. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Astral Sea just 400 gold away. Okay, attack. they do eventually get the tower. They've just delayed it, that's all. Okay, yeah. Split second delay. Deso just 1500 gold Dyer's away for Ori. Standing. But that being said, it, it's not too far away for this Orchid for Queen of Pain. Now you've got the battle for your own Astral Sea. So despite the poor lane he had where he was 16 and 2, like what? Six minutes in? Something crazy like that? Well, now he's got a Battle Fury and he's going to be working his way or trying to work his way top of the net worth. As much as he can. Uh, that should be, considering the start of the game he had, is having a wild time. He's, he's gone having, relatively untouched. He's having a, just a, yeah, a free game for like the last five to eight minutes or so. Oh, oh D.Y. Trouble being chased. Fire snap cookie that lands. Boy, Guardian Angel. Yeah, but the, the Guardian Angel forces the Sonic Wave. So, I oh, guess, lane arena. Got this Shadow Demon dead. James drops. Now the spear on a chalice. He's got that second life. Supernova stuns up this Wraith King, but here comes XM. <laughs> Wraith Fire Blast, I believe, during the Icarus dive. They get the cone to PYW. Ori thinking about coming through. XM, though, now needs to be careful. Damage, and where's his team? He's got the blink. Just that makes an close. escape. They've got the fire snap cookie from X Nova, who seems like he might throw his life away, but every time I think somebody's gonna die, another one comes in. Spear, and one more right click needed to finish off the snap fire. Chalice standing nearby, armlet toggling, but loses his life. And he might lose his second life too. I don't know why he stayed around and then TP'd like that, but they've got the disruption onto the TA. Chalice still trying to run. They he won't tried to any um, further. He tried to outplay the TA because I don't know if people realize you can arm it toggle during TP. So he thought that he would have enough damage, but yeah, with the melt hit from Ori, absolutely melts the Wraith King. So now they get the spear out and purification onto James. I carry a hammer. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> Four year husband. You see that? Three, three man. You see that sent us <laughs> A little ravage there. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. kisses. It's, yeah, it's, it's the same thing that you can see. Ehome don't want to take these five on fives that uh, Vici are trying. Like, they're just splitting the map up Dyer's as much as they can. Is under attack. I think S Triple C needs to be threatening this top tier of two more. Because at the moment, 
They're not trading when they try and go for towers. Right? I feel like SWC could be punishing harder. I mean, the challenge just instantly goes in and it's going to force TPs back, which is exactly what they need to be doing. Ooh, arena, spear, reincarnation on cooldown. Child's getting caught, trying to arm with toggle, sunray on him, purification. Everybody comes up towards top to take out this Wraith King. But, like, if AM's the one that does that, then he can get out, Dyer's right? The Wraith King's the one that has to turn up and do that, and he gives his life Dyer's up for it. Mm -hmm. has been killed. I should, she's just trying to play really safe here. I think he knows if he gets to the late game and in a relatively decent position with, like, Battle Fury, Manta, Abyssal Scardi or something, then the game's looking good for them. Icarus dive over. And Illusion Rune from XM blinks away. X Nova with, hit with the Sunray. They've got the clumsy net now onto X Nova. Scatter Blast forces the Supernova, getting him wow. so low. Yeah, but now James as well. Level 1 yeah. disruption, so. Another couple of kills for Vici. They take a 1k lead themselves. As you see, he's nearby. Blinks into the trees. Mm, nobody will be able to stop that. Uh, someone just asked in chat if uh, status resistance works on disruption. It does. So basically, they get disrupted for like a minuscule time, which is really weird. It's all about learning, guys. Learning together. Yeah. We learned a little bit with the uh, Spear Mortimer's Kisses. As, uh... I swear when Spear hits on somebody TPing and it doesn't latch, it still stops the TP, right? I have no idea. I've, I'm questioning my existence right now. So. I think, um... I, I think I've said this to people before, though. If I can teach somebody something that they didn't know before, I feel like I've done something in a cast, you know? Oh, Orchid. Orchid. Oh, it's they're going Roche. Roche. Wow. I think Vici must know this is going on, though, surely. There's no way they don't realize. They're not coming over. They have Chrono, and this is just going to go down. What a Yeah, pinging it out now, but it's too late. Yeah. He just picked up by XM. God's Rebuke. That starts the reincarnation. Fire Snap attempt away. X Nova. He'll die. They've got the second life, and Chalice. He's Dead a second time. Yeah, but they get the Aegis. That's the big thing. Because it's not just about getting it for yourself. It's about taking it away from the TA lineup where they want to hit this timing at like the 25 minute mark. Oh, oh, like... Oh, just dies to a Chrono top. Yeah, with double damage, they catch him. That's... that's okay, that's a that's bad. Yeah. I think if everything else had happened as it had, they'd have been fine. But after that AM death, now it's going to open up the map a lot. Because uh, E-Home aren't going to be able to split push as much as they want to. For like the next 30 seconds. So Vici might be able to get their lanes in a decent position here. And it looks like they already are. Oh, he just got pop bot. I didn't even see it. Radiance top tower. Wow. This is really going poor this for E-Home these last few minutes. But I say that, Sonic Wave and the Mortimer's Kisses. <laughs> Combined to kill off PYW and all the 11, yes, it cost them the Aegis, but two kills that they're happy to take. I think the only thing here right now is now you're without the Aegis, and you're without your anti-mage. No, that, that double kill bot lane's, yeah, is huge, because otherwise they were going to start losing control of the map really quickly because all the lanes were shoved in. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. Great play by him to recover there. That soul catcher does so much damage as well. Such a ridiculous spell. What's James going for? Blink dagger. Okay. Just wondering about like Ags or something. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. So now you gotta protect S Triple C on the map, right? Mm, how... I think he, he has to protect himself by farming in the right places. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can. And nobody keeps up with the AM while he's far while he's farming, right? He's just going to yeah. do his own thing. They have to just group up and like... Sorry, not group up. They need to split up and like, keep splitting the map up like they were before. They're coming bottom for him again. Yeah, but he knows. Like, it's just good Dyer's game since West. They should proceed. Yeah. I think they might have saw them with uh, this ward by the stairs. I wasn't exactly sure where that charge came from. Rise and 
Chalice, meanwhile, going Silver Edge. And then XM, he's picking up a BKB. Although I say that, and maybe for right now, it's just the plate mail for the armor. We'll see. Yeah, I think you get casual plate mail into BKB skin. Actually, it's not a great BKB game. It's only really like the Mars and the Phoenix that you itemize it for. Radiant are scanning. Feet you're gonna smoke up and they're gonna try and run across the map. Scan is perfect from the Radiant, so they know. Yeah. So they're all just gonna bail here, basically. Chalice? I say that, Chalice is just... <laughs> gets invis with the Shadow Blade, but... Eric of Smoke gets broken, so they know he's nearby. Still is looting the side of VG. Well, I couldn't believe that C stayed up here, actually. He's trying to get into this basher as quickly as he can. Yeah, he needs uh, Abyssal Scardi, and then his game's so much better. It's um, a great Abyssal game, obviously. It always is. With the um, potential to, like, solo kill people on the map. But the Scardi's 50% slow against the TA, and it also helps against the Void um, time walking off damage. With the, uh, like, reduced healing effect. Are they setting up for their own smoke? Looks like it. Oh, they double smoke. they popped two. It's a shame. Not the worst thing in the world, just not what you're hoping for. Are scanning. Scan, though, from the dire. And... What a bounty! Hmm. Now they've got the high ground on E-Home. There's the silent. Oh! Blowing He's up gone. Erica! That was amazing! Supernova comes out, the E-Home sign will retreat north. They take out DY's courier, they'll focus their attention on X Nova, but the sun's out on a DY. Omni Knight Pirate pops the Guardian Angel, S Triple C goes after PYW, who Icarus time out on the high ground. Now is the Sunray, but they've got the silence. XM comes in with the blink as well as the scream to get the kill. Chalice, he's got reincarnation. And he is at the front, ready to yeah, die the first time. Here, the question home. is, are they ready to get him again? And it might be possible as they land the spear. They've got the right-click damage with BKB being popped by Ori. They go after DY. They get the kill there onto the Omni Knight. Now they're trying to fight. Magic Though, Magic silence Magic. onto the Mars. Still... And they blink away. I don't know if they were expecting that kind of damage on the Chalice. He has Mana Void up still on that AM. Can they not kill the Mars there before they leave? I don't know. Maybe not. I'm surprised he hasn't used it the whole fight, though. Yeah, great play by him, though, to find the Omni... Uh, sorry, not the Omni Knight, the Void at the start of the fight, right? But the fact yeah. that DY survives on the Omni Knight the whole fight means they have so much more sustain. And, like, they have two really good damage dealing cores on the Void and the TA. So even if the Void dies, they still have at least some damage output throughout the fight. Mm -hmm. And they did have to commit so much to be able to kill Erika in the first place. But great fight Ooh. for Ehome. Yeah, I guess so, because they silenced him and stunned him at the same time. So they were able to... Re they blew past him real Dyer's fast. Top tower is under attack. Invisibility. But that fight allows s c to farm more. He'll go into the Abyssal Blade. He's not too far away from that. And then Quap has the BKB and now has that Shiva's queued up, as well as, uh, well, as, well as Hex. Chalice won't buy out on the Silver Edge. Okay. Going AC next. Yeah, they, they need the physical damage uh, resistance against the Void and the TA. Because mm. at the moment, already when he pops BKB, he's basically just going to town. What's that BKB at? Nine? That was his first BKB? Yeah. And he has Grove Bow as well. Great iron. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Arena down. And they'll catch the Anti Mage. S Triple C now chronoed and ooh, disruption oh. trying to get the save. Is he gonna be able to escape? No. Disruption not lasting long enough. And they get the kill on S Triple C as well as James. Big kill there for Vici. I like that play though from James. Because if the AM survives there, he can pop Manta and just try and blink away. And he has a chance of living. It's probably not very high, but Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. A great find for Vici, but they did use Arena and Chrono on him, so yeah, they might be a little bit worried about going high ground here without their uh, big spells. It's cost them a lot. Roche is about to hit the minimum respawn time too. 
it, it, it did cost him a lot, but at the same time, the AM is worth it. Like, he's the biggest kill on the map by far, I think, at this point in the game. And and from now on. It's not you just now. Follow me. XM. 2100 gold. So, still about 1400 to go on this Shiva's. And there it is again. Radiance top tower is under <laughs> Why buy sentries when you can just buy a gem? X Nova. He's like the only support who goes like right into this gem as quickly as he can. I think especially when you're playing from behind though, you feel like you need to make plays or something happen on the map. But getting the gem is good because maybe they feel like if they lose one more fight, the game might be over, right? So they might as well buy a gem to give themselves the best chance possible. They have vision on old 11 here. I, like, I really like that ward. That was placed yeah. here by Xnova. Yeah, it's because it doesn't get um, dewarded on the high ground. If you put a sentry on the high ground to uh, try and find high ground vision, it doesn't see that one that the Radiant they put down. Needs a thousand more gold for this Abyssal. That could be the game-changing item for SCCC in these exchanges. Hiding in the trees right now, letting his illusions farm up as much as possible. Bloodthorn finished for Ori. He's level 22. And they take Roche. Yeah, so especially while that's with, all happening, Aegis and Cheese picked up for Avicii. Especially with this Dying void as well, it, this Bloodthorn's going to mean that somebody's definitely dying. Orb Destruction. Radiance top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. So they get the tower and... And they just about have the gold Radiance for that Abyssal Blade. They're picking up the telescope. They're coming towards bottom. They might want to leave. They've got the vision. Look at this ward here for the Dyer. And now with that, that gem, they'll clean it up. But, ooh, they're set up real close to each other. Old Eleven showing himself. Erica behind him. They get they the, the gem to the courier. The fire, and James and Exnova die. That was cute. I don't know if you saw that. Exnova brought his courier with him. And he mm -hmm. passed over the gem to the courier just before he died so that they didn't lose it. And it's now on off on the side of the map. Below. Allows them to hold on to that gem. They lose both supports. Not the worst thing in the world for Ehome, especially not losing that gem. You see they, instantly, they start cut, trying to cut, cut uh, Creep Wave straight away. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, losing my mind here trying to say words. But... Um, yeah, but unfortunately they don't hit, kill the whole wave. So now these two melee creeps that are coming towards mid, it's going to up, open up high ground. They have Chrono still, they have Arena still. Yeah, nothing got uh, used to get Radiant those kills. It looked like they pump faked attack. the Chrono and potentially the Radiant Arena too. So he'll take to the tier 2 towards there, yeah. top. top tower has he's, got, tower he's got skeletons top. here. So he might want to actually try and push in on this. He takes it at a relatively decent speed. They lose their tier 3, but look at how quickly this tier 3 is dropping. Meanwhile, Sonic Wave Chrono comes out, but it's a Chrono on a lot of your own team. <laughs> That's true. She's taking Rax though as well at the same time. Yeah. They're going to trade even potentially. Now the and the X-Nova wants to cancel TP. Oh, reinitiation from old 11. They've got the arena as well as the supernova. Chalice wants to get into the arena, starts to turn away. Fire snap cookie, X Nova, as well as James end up dying. There's the abyssal blade. It's out on old 11 who pops the BKB and they can't get the kill. Now the Yules, he's in some trouble. They got the silence on a chalice. Guardian Angel gets used to lose the first life on the Wraith King. And Chalice, he's in the middle of it all and in so much trouble. They've got the spear that lands to the tree. Chalice hit with a purification. He ends up dead to Ori. Those three heroes that are dead right now don't have buyback. Yeah, I think the Void's coming back as well. I know they don't have any like their big cooldowns up. Oh. And AM is still alive, but AM can't fight one, you know, one versus five here effectively. I like how Ehem tried to approach that fight. Like they forced the Void to buy back. Uh, sorry, not buy back, TP away. And so they like, like then TP the AM back to the base and try and take the fight while the Void's not there, but it, it doesn't work out like that in the end. And a great reinitiation by Old Eleven on the Mars. Fire snap cookie. 
Who sits on the creeps? This is at least two sets of racks. They go for the Abyssal Blade out onto the TA. Now, Madam Boy, not enough damage, but here comes XM. Gets the silence out. Ori in oh. some trouble. Oh, the Sunray. It keeps him alive. They look over at Erica. They've got the Scatterbus with BKB being popped by XM. Fires that cookie, lands, and they'll pop the Aegis. The spear doesn't hit XM to the wall. X Nova can really only just stand here as it feels like he might just be dead to rights. They'll get the kill onto the Snapfire Jet for 72 seconds. Shadow Strike on Old 11. He'll eat the cheese back to full health. S Triple C getting bashed up pretty hard. Now they've got the spear with the disruption from James. Icarus dive all the way across. Sunray out. Supernova available in 10 seconds. Here comes Chalice, throws the sun out of the Mars, and they get the kill onto the Mars. Old 11 dead without buyback. They'll take the first life off of this Wraith King, and now the Invisible Blade follows it up on Erica. The Supernova might be too but he's got the Sunray, he's surviving! Sonic Wave pushes him back, the Supernova's gonna pop and they'll get the stun out of the Queen of Pain! They lose Chalice, and it looks like they're gonna lose themselves yeah, XM2 so and potentially the game. Really well played by Vici, this Omni Knight the whole time just sitting in the back line, just saving everybody. Like XM, the reason that fight went like so well, it looked like it was going to go well bot before, is because they killed the Omni Knight straight away. If DY's surviving these engagements, it's so hard for Ehome to ever commit to anybody. Or he just blowing up James, and uh, he loses his nullifier, but no call GG. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm really, I'm glad we get three games in this series, though. I think that's the biggest thing we should take away Look, as viewers and spectators to this. Mm -hmm. We get to see a third game between these two teams. But I mean, great play by Vici this game. Like they, they, their laning stage went really well. Then there was that period afterwards where the Mars start to like fall off really hard and they didn't really deal with the AM. But Void was just free farming as well at the same time and they hit this point in the game where they get the MKB and then they give away the first Roche which was my only big criticism for Vici this game is that they didn't read that play quicker. I mean it's easy for us to say because we can see everything, right? Yeah. But they did realize eventually it was just a little bit too slow. Do you... Do you think he probably could have committed to taking Void's first life with the Chrono down as he came TP towards top? All right, say that again. So he uses the Chrono bottom, then yeah. he TPs back towards yeah. top to stop the racks from being taken from S Triple C. Do you think S Triple C yeah. could have killed the Void there and taken out the Aegis and then come back to base? No, 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 no. <laughs> that aim wasn't strong enough, even with just Abyssal, okay. I don't think. Like, they want the Void to TP away so that when the AM TPs back to the Radiant base, they can take a numbers advantage fight. But just before the AM got there, Old Eleven mm -hmm. reinitiated with the 